Oh. So, uh, as soon as I shut off the camera, I noticed that the aluminum had gotten gray. And let me see if I can record the sound it's making. Maybe you guys can hear that. Sizzling sound. So, quite a reaction. Okay, it's about been about half an hour since I've left this getting a little darker out. Um, the zinc is still dancing around, but most of it is gone, as you can see. Or maybe you can't. <laughs> but there's not much left. Um, the solution that the aluminum wire was in, this one, has turned back to clear. Um, this one with the galvanized steel has taken on a yellow tint. And I'm wondering if that has anything to do with um, using yellow zinc, but hopefully not. Though it is an old piece of wire, so you never know. Um, the last one still has that faint sort of cuprous green to it. Um, so I'm thinking it still has a little bit of copper somewhere in it. Um, so the final part of the project is that when you are done working with acid, you should neutralize it. You really don't want to touch it with your hands because it will make you itch like crazy, you know, because it's burning your skin off. So it'll make that fizzy sound, and you just want to keep adding more until it's done fizzing. Um, I really wish I had a spoon for this. But, uh, I was just going to keep fizzing and... I'm just tipping that in there and I'm not really trying to be delicate about it. And what you want to do is just keep adding baking soda until it stops fizzing. Made ourselves a mess. But I think I need to do a little bit of rotating because the baking soda is sitting up top, foaming. And that's kind of it. Okay, so I cleaned out my vial after the test, and um, here's some of the results of what's happened to the metals afterwards. This is the stainless steel ring and has pretty much no damage to it. It looks a lot cleaner though, so compare that to an uncleaned sample. And this, what did I put in order? Okay, um, the zinc piece that I originally started out with was about that size. After about half an hour, that's what the, is left. This is the galvanized steel. It's developed um, the white zinc rust that you hear about every now and then, and this is the spool that it came from. And this was our mystery link that came off of this. And I don't know what it is. Um, it didn't react a whole lot as you could see in the test videos, but what did happen is um, right here, um, the focus sucks, uh, where there's a stress crack in the finish from me twisting the chain open, um, some of the plating did flake out a bit and a bit of rust has formed there. The finish itself is unmarred, unlike the zinc piece here that did experience a change in the surface quality. So the 
just because it's really shiny, it might be chrome, but um, really not an expert in alternative finishes. So it does have some zinc in it, but it just didn't give the same response as the galvanized. So um, I'm not going to worry too much about it because if it took that much stress of bending it back and forth a couple of times to take the finish off, and it wasn't easy. Um, I don't think Toby's going to get too harmed by that, and I don't have any wood to knock on. Um, okay.